Hi, welcome to Career Talks with Sri. My name is Sri Vidya Santosh, and in this episode of Career Talks with Sri, you're going to know everything about the course called Forestry. B.Sc. Forestry, which can be pursued right after grade 12. What is B.Sc. Forestry? What is the eligibility to join this program? What can you become after completing B.Sc. Forestry course? Is there any higher studies available for this program? Come on, you can know everything about this through this video. Before talking about forestry course, let me explain you who a forester is. A forester is someone who develops a forest management plan. Okay, obviously, he will also be involved in selecting the sites for growing new trees. He plans and supervises forestry projects. Also, he will be involved in protecting natural resources, ecological restoration, timber harvesting, etc. So many things, right? So what all will you learn in this program, which is called forestry? Now, don't think that like forester is the only job opportunity for a person who completes a course called BSc Forestry. This is not like that. There are so many things, but I took forester as an example so that you can know what are the different things that you have to learn in this particular program. That's it. Now, when you look into the syllabus of forestry, you have so many things to learn. As I say in all my videos, please don't confine your thoughts just to what you see in the screen. There are so many things beyond this too, but these are the main things that you learn during this program, which is called BSc Forestry. There are so many things, um, for example, dendrology. What is dendrology? Dendrology is the scientific study of trees. Probably like the other terms would be familiar to you and you will know like what it is like a plant biochemistry and plant biotechnology, etc. Silvicultural systems. What is silvicultural systems? It is the growth and cultivation of trees that is called silviculture. Okay. Now, um, let me tell you some interesting facts that you can learn while you do such type of courses. Obviously, there are a lot of specialization programs that you can do after completing BSc Forestry. You can do an MSc Forestry or there are different electives like a timber science. You can learn wildlife management, so many things as such. But uh, let me give you one interesting example. Um, in India, probably like uh, we have a calculation which says that these are the number of tigers or these are the number of lions that are there in our country. Now tell me, how does someone know that a particular forest or in entire India, there are these many number of lions approximately? How is the calculation being made? For a census that happens to people, you know that uh, some social workers or teachers, they come to our home and they inquire who are the people living in the house plus like whether there are any birth or death that has happened recently. So they calculate all these things and finally the calculation comes out, right? And obviously you can't go to a den and ask a lion whether there were any birth or death that happened the last year. It can't happen so, right? So what is the technology that goes behind the calculation of wildlife? There should be something, right? Come on, think. What would it be? Cameras? Or uh, do they count the footprints? What happens? Hmm. You will learn these type of things in such courses when you specialize in programs. Okay? So these are a few things probably like you will learn about timber science in detail when you specialize in timber science management after forestry course. There are different types of wood, right? Uh, so what is the chemical composition of all these things? What is the quality of wood? Where will you find the right wood? So many things as such. Now, master's level, as I said, there are different uh, subject specializations that you can take, like a forest economics, forest management. You can go for commercial forestry, wildlife science, wood science and technology. These are a few uh, courses that you can pursue in the master's level if you are pursuing a forestry program. Now, if you are planning for a forestry course right after your plus two, the eligibility says that you should have taken science program for your grade 11 and 12. And the duration of this program is four years. Okay, four years BSc forestry course. Entrance examination, it depends on the institute that you are choosing. But however, I'll tell you one thing. Most of the forestry courses come under the agricultural universities of different states. Okay. So since the agricultural university entrance exam is ICAR plus the state level entrance examination, the eligibility or the entrance for this course also depends on that. 
So I can't say that there is only one national level entrance examination. There are a lot of exams that you can write, but still ICAR is one prominent exam that you have to give for uh, forestry and related courses because most of the campuses are under the agricultural universities. And apart from this, there are private colleges also that offer BSc forestry program. So you have to think whether you want to join a government program or a private university program and then accordingly you have to write an entrance examination. Higher studies, obviously, it is available. There are a lot of higher study options wherein you can specialize in some particular subject. I've seen uh, some children going out of the country, I mean, out of India for pursuing their master's level program. That is particularly your choice, whether you want to go abroad or study in India itself. In India itself, you have beautiful institutes which offers programs in master level for forestry. Now, if you complete this program, you can be you can get employment in different uh, designations, fine. Like you can become a forester, you can become a forest range officer, forestry technician, you can become an entomologist, right? Entomologist, entomologist is someone who has specialized in a branch of zoology which is related to insects. That is called entomology. Okay. So there are so many things as such where you can get employed. I also want you to know about Indian Forest Service. As you know, there are only three All India level services, of which one is IAS, which is the Indian Administrative Service. The second is IPS, Police Service. And the third one is the Indian Forest Service. So out of the three All India services of civil service examination or civil service level, uh, Forest Service is one among that. But Forest Service, if you want to write this exam, it is a little different from the Indian civil service examination that you give. Because for all other cadres, what you do is uh, you write the UPSC civil service examination, obviously. But the eligibility for the same says that you can do any degree for your bachelor's level, whether it be BTEC or MBBS or BSc or BA English or BA History, it does not matter. But it should be an approved degree from UGC. That is the only condition that they put forward. But for Indian Forest Service, it is not like that. They specifically say that for um, you to be eligible to write Indian Forest Service examination, you should have done a certain uh, bachelor degree programs, which include some of the core science programs, the agriculture course, obviously the forest uh, forestry course in the bachelor's level, things like that. So some children who uh, opt for BSc forestry, their plan will be to get into Indian Forest Service. So if you have a plan to get into Indian Forest Service, then obviously like you can write uh, either, you can pursue either your forestry or some other courses which are related to that. Cause it is little different from all other exams that you give for your, to become an Indian uh, civil service cadre position person. Fine, got it? So this is about uh, forestry service and uh, the course called BSc Forestry. If you want to know more details about this course, please don't hesitate to send in your comments below this video so that I can give you the answers in another video. Please do share this video with your friends so that they also get benefited because of the information that is being shared. Also tell me what is the next video that I should be doing for you so that you get benefited. Let me know in your comments. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodbye.